<clears throat> All right, welcome, folks. So here we have Lee mm -hmm. and Dave. And today we're going to go over the Intel Nook. So what the heck is the Intel Nook? It's a mini computer. Mini computer. Okay, so it's pretty mini. I mean, the box is pretty mini, right? Um, so we're, I'm not going to go into the exact specs right now, you know, and, and go over all the ports, but really, to get started, it's the Nook 7i5BNH, okay? Um, some of the key components, the Nook does come with, what, a CPU, right? Mm -hmm. But it does not come, it comes with a power supply, right? But it doesn't come with memory, so we have our crucial memory, eight gigs right here, for um, 90 bucks, and then I had an, an extra SSD laying around, Right? I mean, everyone has SSDs laying around here at their house, right? I do. Yeah. I have like four or five. Four or five, right? <laughs> so this one is a, this is a regular 850 Evo by Samsung, 500 gigs. Um, so with the Intel Nook, what is this product used for? What's the use case for this? You can pretty much use it on, use it for anything you want. Yeah, I mean, you can't really game on this, right? Like small games. Like, small games, okay. I'm sure you can play Overwatch. Like, like Solitaire? <laughs> like Overwatch, Rocket League. Okay, okay. Uh, that's Intel Iris Plus, so yeah. it's decent for casual gaming. Oh, okay, okay. So no, no hardcore no. gaming. Okay, got it. So Monster Hunter is kind of out of that. Right? Yep. Okay, great. So, uh, the reason why there are yellow stickers on this is because we got this on the clearance aisle <laughs> at Micro Center. Normally, this is what, around $330 some uh, dollars, and we got it for $239.96. So, pretty, pretty good deal. Yeah. So, let's, let's open it up and see what's inside. So, we got what? Instructions. No, like, no one reads instructions, right? Um, yeah, get out of there. Uh, some kind of plate. Oh, this is actually a VESA mounting plate. You mount it behind your monitor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty neat. And you have the Nook. So, so notice the box is this, and this is pretty much how big the Nook is. And compared to a 2.5 SSD, pretty small. And then we have a power cable. And lastly, some screws. That's it. That's all, you, that's all we have in this. Oh, what is this? Oh, another another uh, manual, which we'll figure it out later. So let's screwdrivers. Screwdrivers. It is in that box. So while Lee is getting the screwdriver, let's go over some of the ports here. We have the power port, a uh, headphone jack, um, two USB ports, uh, another two set of USB ports, your ethernet, your HDMI, and then your power, and a Thunderbolt. So this does have a Thunderbolt uh, port to it, and it's a Thunderbolt 3 port. And uh, it's four USB, 3.0 ports and one of them is the chart it can be charged can be a charging port so this one right here is a charging port uh, and it looks like yep this is just the ventilation and that's pretty much what we have here okay. I'm gonna break the yeah. so there we have it so this Nice. Okay. So I would say a good use case for for the Nook would be um, a media center. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah. Like you, you would you would set this up, maybe hook it up to your TV. And uh, you can turn it into what a DVR. You can just browse the internet using your TV. So that's yep. another good. Well, you can hook it up to an external graphics card and play <laughs> Aqua games. <laughs> well, we, we haven't might, tried we that might yet. Be doing that. Ooh. Yes. Something else is coming in. Ooh. Got a 
chip here, this panel, and here we go. This is your this is your slot for the two and a two and a half SSD. This is your, so I'm just gonna slide it in. Fix it in. Good thing it came with screws. Some wires attached to the main core. Mm -hmm. He can't see the CPU. I'm guessing that's it's on the other side. Yeah. I see the Intel Wi-Fi right here. Mm -hmm. And then it looks like there's what two uh, um, dim slots. Yep. So. Did I get gypped? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, apparently RAM hasn't really gone down in price that much. Unlike video cards. And one thing to consider too, um, obviously this doesn't have an operating system. So when you do um, build one of these, you can either run uh, Linux OS or you're gonna have to buy a copy of Windows. I mean, I guess you could even run Mac on this, couldn't we? If, if we had a Mac. Mm, you might be able to hack it, hash it. Yeah, hack it. So is that it, Dave? Is that all set? I think so, we have. We have the RAM, we have the SSD, we have the box. Okay. Oh, ha! So you see this arrow front? Maybe I should point it to the front. <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah. too tightly in case it doesn't boot up. Really, here we go. I think we're, we do need a monitor though if we're really going to test that. But do you have anything on your SSD? Mm -hmm. This is actually my old system. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that works. We can probably just boot it up and see. Mm -hmm. Okay. There we go. There we have it. <laughs> no, this is the best part. No, we can't scratch it. Shiny. <laughs> so there you have it. The Intel Nook. Okay, let's plug it in. Yeah. Oh, actually it has an SD card on the side. No micro SD. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So hit the button.